everybody, Michelle here, reporting to you from Mallorca, Spain. It's the biggest island in Spain, or right off the coast of Spain, and um, it's super vegan friendly. The most vegan friendly area is Palma, which is the capital of Mallorca. Um, it's the biggest city right in the south, and they have so many vegan restaurants there. This right here is this place called Dulcos Julia. It is an all vegan bakery and they serve tapas and fresh baked breads and all sorts of yummy things. Um, and it's really, really awesome. I mean, they have this big sign, go vegan right on the outside. I love it. <laughs> so my mom and I stocked up on all sorts of things here. Uh, we had a nice meal. We got um, some bread to go. We, of course, got some of this vegan baklava, some chocolate croissants, and it was just all together a really yummy place. And it just opened recently in the past year. A lot of places have opened in the past year in Mallorca, which is really exciting. All right, we're in front of Cream Crew, which is an all vegan ice cream shop in Mallorca. It just opened a few months ago too. Got a huge array of awesome vegan flavors. This mint chip is actually colored green with spirulina and just like she uses supernatural ingredients and I love it, it's so good. So if you go to Mallorca, this is located in Palma in Mallorca, so kind of towards the south and yum. How is it, Mom? So good. Birthday ice cream. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> this is great. My mom and I are staying at the cutest little Airbnb place that we found in Mallorca. And so we went to the uh, natural, like, natural food store and got a bunch of supplies so we can make dinner every night. Reporting from Valdemosa on Mallorca. What do you think? It's gorgeous little town, so cute. It's really pretty. We're in like the one area here without a billion tourists, but there's a lot of tourists. It's a very, very touristy little town, uh, but it's beautiful and there's lots of little shops and stuff. Uh, I don't trust that there's anything really vegan here or in most little towns in Mallorca, so we kind of packed our own lunch, uh, but there's a ton of vegan stuff in Palma. Hi everyone, quick report. I'm reporting to you from kind of the coast in between Dea and Soler, which are two different coastal towns. And oh my goodness, this drive is for the brave only. It is so twisty and turny and there's bikes coming and the road is super thin and um, it's definitely kind of an adrenaline rush drive to get to these little coastal towns, but they're so cute and it's so beautiful and it's totally worth it, uh, assuming you don't die on the way. <laughs> uh, so we just pulled into this little hotel and it took us like way up these cur curvy roads uh, to this little hotel, but look at how pretty it is here. Awesome. Um, we just packed a little picnic lunch because there's not a ton of vegan options. Like you can find some things like fresh orange juice and almond milk at some places. Um, but we packed bread, peanut butter, and banana sandwiches with bread from the vegan bakery in Palma. So that was really yummy and this was such a beautiful place to have a little picnic. This is only barely scratching the surface of all the amazing things to do and see and vegan food to eat in Mallorca. We only had a few days there, but it is just a stunning place to go and there is such a vibrant vegan scene happening and blooming in Palma, Mallorca. So I hope that one day maybe you're able to go and check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, I've got another Spain video coming for you in Madrid and also already published some in Barcelona. And um, just be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.